welcome back to Timberborn. It's actually been a little while since I've played this. You may have noticed that it tends to happen that I play in little bursts and get stuff recorded and then have a few days off. And I actually remember when I played this last. It might have been Monday when I was away with work and it is now Saturday. I don't normally record on Saturday, uh, but my wife is away, so we play video games. Yeah, right there, they are all set to plant, so when the forester gets to it, they will replant all of the mangroves. I pondered a lot, I had a couple of comments about it. We've got mods back. Um, so I've installed a few. We've got simple triggers because, you know, life's not right without simple triggers mod. Um, I've added smart powering. So that's going to help with um, managing the power. Immortal Joe is still there and now 128 years, days old. Um, yep. He's he's good. They are good. Immortal Joe. I'm assuming it's he. Um, other mods that I have installed. Ladders. Had to be done. Um, power. Vertical power shafts. Again. Had to be done. I think that's it. But don't hold me to that. So we need to go through and sort some stuff out. So I have learned something about how, how simple triggers works. And that is that you can set basic and advanced at the same time which is really cool so what we are going to do is we need to unlock the stream gauge we're going to place one there we're going to high prioritize building that because we can then set that up to control these we are Am I going to manually control those? I think we'll do a little bit. So we're going to... Oh, they fixed it. They fixed the temperate stuff. Awesome. So we are going to... Pause when drought starts. Unpause when temperate starts. And pause when bad tide starts. So that should automate all of those. And we're going to do that to um, the majority. We're just going to leave one running when we have a drought or a bad tide. Um, this guy, I think we can leave. And what we're going to do is automate this although it's less essential now it's got this big area but i think we should and what we are going to do is when a drought starts it's going to go to two when a drought ends it's going to go to a half i think and when a bad tide starts it's going to go to two and when a bad tide ends it's going to go to a half so that's those set up we got this built because i'm home alone the dogs are having fun with me. Someone walked past the house, so they had to bark, which made me think someone was at the door. Ah, right. Um, yeah, we got this built last time, which is going to protect all of this as fresh water, which is cool. And it means hopefully we can use our showers a little bit more. Um, we had our contaminated beaver, um, who is not a mortal duo. So we got extract going and we got um, the decontamination bed in. We have a lot of um, rubble sitting around. So I think we're just going to prioritize them picking that up because it kind of bugs me because it means we don't know how much we have of certain things. So what are these? Those are logs as well, yeah. Tuck the up after yourselves, people. Um, so we've got 10 vacancies, one unemployed, one in two incapacitated. We do have medical beds, so that should be okay. So I think 
probably yeah the unemployed are all in the haulers post i think we want to get and do or do we go the advanced breed no because we don't have a thousand science um one of the things that the iron teeth add in one of the updates is the advanced breeding pod where we can use extract and berries to make beavers rather than water and berries to make a beaver don't ask it just happens okay um right that's that sorted we are on day three of a temperate cycle which is good hopefully we can get this built before we have any issues yes i know the hauling post lacks workers so we have metal we have explosives now and we have small amounts of extract but we have no science so i was going to say we could unlock the more advanced um Oh, the dogs are having so much fun. I was going to say we could unlock the advanced explosives, but I don't think we can. Um, I don't think we want to deepen this bit particularly because I would like to have it as a mangrove forest. Um, dude, why aren't you prioritize mangroves? Hopefully that will get him on the job. We've got plenty of lumber. What we need are the mangroves planted. Oh, off you go, off you go. Thank you. Uh, and we really need haulers actually, so. We are a bit short of that at the moment. One of the other things we can work towards doing, and we should probably do actually because it's a wet season, is replace these, so. Let's start with this one. So we are going to delete it. It'll be a little bit unhappy when we delete the levees because the water will disperse, which is, you know, not ideal. Uh, and then we are going to chuck in some explosives and that is going to be a priority job because we need to blast down three layers to uh, put in the water dump with the stream gauge that i like to have so that we can automate it so awesome this is built freaking neighbors have started drilling now why does the world hate me today why right when a drought starts it goes up to two when a bad tide starts it goes up to two then we go to advanced and we attach to a stream gauge and actually what we can do is in basic when a drought ends we can go back to zero that's fine and then advanced um we are going to do contamination low i always struggle to get this the right way around when the contamination is below three set the height to zero we're going to do two percent actually one percent one percent i think that's all okay i think that last bit i struggle with the i assume the high is if it's higher than set and i assume the low is if it's lower than set so we're going to do that um and i think actually we're going to change it so that in a drought we want to manually override it with a drought can't we don't we so we can hold more water so i think naturally we want this to be at at least a half um, and we're going to set it to a half we're gonna let me set it to a half going to let me do anything yeah so let's stick it at a half and uh if we get a drought we'll manually adjust things but what we know is that if we get a bad tide we want it to react automatically so that's fine that means we shouldn't need this catchment thing 
We could use it to store more water, but I think we're okay for that at the moment. I guess our one unemployed beaver is probably the contaminated dude. Like he is badly contaminated. But he's going to be swimming in extract for quite a while. Cool. So what are we going to try and achieve today? Um, we are going to... Seriously, could you come and put the explosives in? We have 112 of them. Um... I don't get why no one's come to do this. Please. Pretty please. Let's just say we're not on. Just checking. I haven't left it on 24 hour working day still. Um, because we, ha we have 112 explosives. Where is our explosives? It's here don't get it i do not get it unless we don't have any builders which could be so we have a drought coming that's good well it's not good but it's better than a bad tide thank you mighty nice of you don't go far because you're going to be putting another one in as soon as that beaver gets out of the way because we need to go three deep so we can automate this. It's going to be a bit unhappy while we do this. Um, because there isn't water for some of this. It's fine. If, if, if it dies, it dies. Name the movie quote. Chop, chop, beavers. So I think they are predominantly working on building this stuff. I don't get why they're not coming this way. Um, in fact, what we're going to do to help encourage that is we're going to deprioritize this side. So maybe they build this side first, you know? That would be kind of sensible, wouldn't it? Right, someone come and build my explosives, please. There, There is the beaver. Um, you may have noticed I'm keeping it on times two today. Mm, I fancy going a bit slower to be honest is all um what i might do is when we are waiting for bigger projects skip some time or um then speed up to triple speed so what this will let us do actually is we could have moved it forward one is plant a little bit more so we will be able to if we go to our trees and bushes plant a few more blueberries which is cool uh, there's our explosives dude so this will get this down to the required depth so detonate we can then go um, stream gauge and water dump and we'll need a little bit of path now and Awesome. So let's make both of those a high priority. We have planks and logs, so that's good. We could probably pause plank making for a bit, I think. And gears. I don't think we particularly need all of those at the moment. Oh food situation is pretty good we've got lots of corn a few cassavas and quite a lot of kohlrabis so that's good um happy with that so as soon as they get the stream gauge built which i think they're about to do we can link this up to the stream gauge there we go and we are going to unpause when depth is below 2.6 and we will pause when the depth is above 2.9 and we will make that a high priority job with prioritized by haulers and then they should fill that back up which will rehydrate these and we will be good so if 
He's does his job. Come on, Beave. You got quite a lot of water to pour in there. I'll give you that. So that's okay. Um, I wonder if we could detonate that square because we'd get another planting piece. So let's put that there. Make that a priority as well. And then um, I guess we work on replacing the neck. Do I want to risk it with one and a half days to go? Because we will need these to keep crops hydrated. Yeah, let's go for it. So we have a bit of a bad moment where things happen. Um, because the water floods out, which is it, kind of worse here because it floods our farmhouse. But, you know, that's OK. It will soon evaporate. And now they're building from the side. I want them to build. Well done, lads. Good job. So yeah, what we're going to do this time is try and completely max out the water that we've got. Um, and we're going to push that up to one and see if it stays there. I guess the it doesn't. What we want to do is disable during temperate. Not really. Um, oh, I'm just going to click that for now because I want this to be up at one. Let's detonate and that will help move the water away as well, which is good. Let's high prioritize. There we go, having to babysit this a little bit, and uh, yeah, that's okay. So, nice big swell of water coming in, which is good. The more water we can store up here, the better, obviously. I mean, what we might want to do longer term is make this higher or just make it deeper. You know, sometimes it's easier to dig holes than it is to build things up. That's not a motto for life. That's just if you're playing with beavers. And obviously only play with the beavers that you have permission to play with. Do not play with someone else's beaver if you don't have permission. OK, that's bad. Uh, so let's plant a few more cassavas there and make that is a high priority so 0.6 of a day and that's behaving somewhat weirdly because they're only set to one i guess it's just the sheer amount of water maybe i don't know but it's okay it's okay so all right, dynamite is all in. So same thing again. We're going stream gauge. High priority. Water dump. High priority. And uh, we'll then repeat the process and uh, we'll be good. And we are at 0.3 of a day. So I'm actually going to put that all the way up to two. And we're just going to store whatever we can. And if we flood a bit this way, that's fine. The more water we are holding, the better. So we won't see an effect here. These are on. Did I automate these? No, I left those on manual control. What we should see is this one go up to hold this pretty much full of water, which is what we want. So. Come on. Drought starts now. There we go. And it worked. Awesome. So we've got a nice pool of water here. We've got a pretty good pool of water here. Um, I'm half tempted to replace this with floodgates so we can keep this deeper. Um, and we have a bit of flooding. Oh, why did that happen? No. 
Oh, why? Why are you doing this to me? Uh, advanced, disable, disable. Gosh. So that didn't work as I wanted. Um, I guess because the contamination was below 1%, it reduced it. Okay. Um, right. So we are going to change that. Okay. It's okay. Um, and we're going to do nothing when a bad tide ends. It's kind of interesting. Didn't... So why is that? Say, stop. I don't get it. Detach. Right. The basics are set. Okay. I'm clearly having a bad day with that mod. But, anywho. Um, let's just set up this one. We're not going to tackle the other one just yet. We are going to attach to stream gauge. Pause when the depth is above 2.9 and unpause when the depth is below about 2.5. High priority workplace. Off we go. Um, so that's those two done. Those have sorted themselves out. Um, I don't know why that didn't want to behave. Almost got all of the mangroves replanted, which is cool. Once they're all done, we'll switch him off of prioritizing mangroves so we can replant the oak trees. Right. So we're in a drought, so we don't have power. So we are using our batteries up. I assume we are, but they're lasting quite well because we're not running very much at the moment. Um, which is okay. Um, because we don't need to be using that if it's in, if it's full of corn rations, we have enough. So um, we currently have keep batteries at sixty to ninety percent. So if I pull unpause this, it should stop because it doesn't have any logs, which makes sense. But it should also just rely on keeping the batteries charged so i think we should be okay this guy's gonna go get some logs because we don't think oh we do have haulers now yep so haulers are going to bring logs in but this doesn't need to run because the batteries are already well charged so that's okay and actually I'm quite happy to keep the batteries about there off of this. So that's fine. We are, we have a little bit of bad water saved. So probably what we should be doing next with our dynamite is making this deeper so we can pop out of it. Can they get that? They can, they can get that one. They can get that one. They can't get that one. And then we can get all the way around here. And what we're going to do is place the ones we can. We'll then move the bad water pump. And then we will blast some more out that we can. And then we will build some platforms or whatever so we can blast the rest out because our bad water pump can go six deep so we should make it so that this is six deep that would be sensible wouldn't it yes yes it would right. so they are there's there's only a very few of those left so i think we're going to stop him being prioritized so that they can get to that our log supply is good how are we doing for building this? We are doing good with an 18 day drought. 
let's do a little bit of math so we have let's call it 60 beavers which is 120 water a day for 18 days is 2160 we can't even store that much water so that is a problem in my mind so i think what we want to do is increase our water storage now food wise we've got a lot of kohlrabis not so much on the fermented cassava which is kind of interesting but that's okay so where are we going to build more water storage the sensible thing to do would be to clear those and build another big water tank there but these to empty and we're not going to get an extra one there so we will replant crops on that one and we will also set these to not be planted so because we now need to be thinking about storing a lot more water um, that, that is you know there's something that we can get sorted now i think we can do that and we can plant a blueberry there we do need to get into coffee at some point actually but uh, let's go back to double speed rather than single speed i am quite liking playing at the slightly slower pace um that's probably going to mean we get a bit less done, but you know, makes things easier on my old brain. So we can delete these. We can plant more kohlrabis there. We will fix that missing piece of path because that's dumb. Um, do we really? have unemployed or just incapacitated ah oh, my welsh collie is such a word i probably shouldn't say on youtube so i won't um so you count as injured okay and contaminated that's okay so um we're gonna get those unplanted when they're grown we'll put another big water tank there so that's going to give us three six nine twelve fifteen hundred water which is not enough um i don't think we can sneak one there can we we had a mirrored building we could but we don't we do have a bunch of little water tanks there so they're going to add a little bit um we could put one there actually and that would be a good place to put one i always click on water for water tanks even though they're just storage tanks because you know you can put more than just water in them i know that you know that so actually if we did that it's gonna be the wrong way but we could put another one there if we need to so Yep, and we're going to make those medium priority because otherwise they'll be busy working on the uh, the bad water storage. So actually, I've started setting this up to be dynamited, but do I really need to worry? Don't know. And what I should do is pause you because there's no bad water to pump so, um, the fact that we allegedly have spare beavers makes me think that we should put in a builder's hut so let's unlock that we're going to build that there and we're going to make that a high priority mid priority workplace and i also feel like we should maybe have 
or science going on or inventing I guess I always call it science but they're, they're called inventors aren't they so um and I kind of guess maybe up here in metal land is a good place for it what we could do is we could alter the path so it's like that and then we could stick in a whole load of inventors so that when we have spare beavers like we do in the long droughts then um they can come and invent which you know is kind of a strategy that i like to employ because it's good you know it's good we get more science and science is is really important for us wow we drained that pretty quick um so I wonder if we should delete that random bit of path because that will bug me. Um, but what I'm wondering is, in fact, I'm just going to do it. Just do it, lad. No idea where that accent came from. Uh, no, we don't want that. We have... Uh, 117 explosives so let's bung this in and give it some priority there's actually a ladder down there already so we don't need to build that ladder. we can explosives there so yeah i think we're gonna make this just this section maybe like three deep for the showers and we can line a bunch of them up we could maybe put the swimming pool in as well then um and yeah i think that'd be cool i think that'd be cool and that just means that the water that's here will kind of flow into that as it needs to um cool mangroves are all planted and we are a way off of having mangrove root yet but thinking ahead because that kind of seems sensible do we we either fixed our contaminated beaver or he died um, this 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 amuses me this is this amuses me um i should probably put in a bug report for it because it's clearly not intended to be that way um but you know it amuses me so yeah um this seems to be working okay so i guess this should kick in in a bit we could just test that by doing that there we go yep so that does kick in so i'm quite happy to leave that low while our power needs are low which they are still um i mean this can be paused as well so i mean it, actually it goes into power saving mode anyway so it's just a beaver so that's okay uh, making good progress on this which is cool um and i feel like it would probably make sense to have a log store here um set to obtain and then i think we could delete that one because they don't seem to be using it so and i would uh, i'd kind of like them to build this from this way around so i'm actually going to delete all of this path so yep so we've got builders now which is good that's going to help speed up the building process um and i guess they're going to prioritize putting in this dynamite which is fine building some materials yes because we're in a drought and we don't yet have the magic to uh keep open our bad water source we will we will and there probably is benefit in having this deeper as well although once we've got it open permanently it doesn't really matter how deep it is apart from the fact that it can kind of hold bad water for us and we can turn it off actually when we when it's full i wonder if it would link to a stream gauge with simple triggers 
that'd be kind of cool um so we're down to 600 water gonna run on triple speed um so let's i think we can probably let some more of this out before it all evaporates um and something that i think with this kind of thing long term again is it's probably sensible to have one deeper channel in the middle with the floodgate set slightly deeper so that when there's not a lot of water it reduces the area that it's in so you reduce the evaporation um, and i'm going to pause you because we do have quite a lot of time left and not a lot of depth above our mangroves so this guy can keep pumping so that's going to keep water coming in and uh, yeah if we need to we can always turn these back on to boost our water pumping capacity i clicked storage not water to get water storage yeah don't ask me i didn't make the game so in fact storage wise we are full on berries which is fine we are full on corn rations which is fine we are not full on those and then we've got lots of cassavas and we've got lots of corn we could probably do with a big warehouse for cassavas and uh, the way i set this up was not the best but we could just dynamite out that and we could put a big warehouse in there then for cassavas and we'd have one for each of our main food sources um as i said with the ones that you process i'm keeping the input because that has a lower volume so for one corn we get five corn rations so rather than keeping you know we can keep a thousand corn which will give us or well, 1200 which will give us six thousand corn rations rather than having to store six thousand corn rations um not something i've been particularly good at doing in the past but i think it's like it, it seems like a sensible idea to me so they are hammering along on this so does that mean yep our explosives are in we've got 57 left i wonder if that is enough to do another layer in here uh, we do need to put another ladder in so let's do that um i i was debating when i was installing mods on whether i should do the um the ladders mod and um the vertical power shafts because they do make the game a lot easier and it's supposed to be hard mode so um i've installed them we'll see if we use them can they get to that they can't i guess because it's there that's okay We'll just keep detonating those and we're going to end up with kind of a u -ish shape um and we will then oh, they can get that yeah i guess because it's diagonal that's okay um we'll demolish this down six deep it's currently two so we've got a long way to go um slow process i guess uh, so let's detonate those it's so nice having all the extra builders um this is going to be done if we get another drought i might store water in here um if we get another drought before we get a bad tide that you know seems like it wouldn't be a bad idea yeah my jokes are awful i know deal with it so if you're here for good jokes to go watch a comedy video instead um one can they sneak dynamite under here we can so we can do this one if, if we can build the steam trick stream trigger under it we can do this one without demolishing it that's cool um yeah i had a suspicion um do we want to keep those and get some treated planks going now there's a question 
I think we do. We probably need to clear a path through. And he seems to be keeping up. So what I'm going to do is unplant my way to here. And then we'll do that and that. And that'll let us put in a path, a tapper shack, and a little storage. So eight dynamite left dogs went again and i've just noticed that our mangroves have just dipped below so they're not going to die which is good but it would have been better if we'd had all the water stored up here that we would have had if simple triggers hadn't screwed me you know kind of screwed myself trying to be too clever which is fine um, the main thing is that this is set so that when a bad tide starts, it pushes it up because we've got the whole time as it makes its way down. So I guess the other thing we want to do is when a bad tide starts, make sure that's set to zero um, so that it can fill. Uh, yeah, that'll work. That will work. Cool. So we've got this done. We actually need to destroy that one as well. But we can go into storage two times in a row and place that as well. And that is going to be for cassavas. So cool. Um, they've not got to that dynamite yet. That's OK. Probably, yeah, we've run out of dynamite, but we did get all of that placed. So, we're going to detonate that and we're going to do well being. And we'll do four showers this time. And then we can, uh, we can slowly work on moving ourselves back. So, that's annoying planks and logs. Oh, those who don't like cheesing stuff, look away as we play Chase the, uh, there we go. I know that is kind of cheesy, but there's logs and planks there. I mean, we really don't need either, but it kind of, kind of irks me to, to let them die. So, they are still waiting to place that, but we are getting our path in, which is cool. Uh, actually, those trees were much more grown than I thought they were. Uh, we are down to 126 water, and given where we are with these, I think we just go for it with pumping. So we'll get four pumpers going. That will work. And hopefully we can get some of this refilled. So we have 1950 water storage now. That's still not enough in my mind. So we're going to build another one. Um, so that when it comes to be the wet season, we can store quite a bit more. We can put one there as well. I've left that open for a um, tech, but we can't really, because it's only a two by two unless we went for a oil press or a coffee brewery, because a coffee brewery is two by two. I think for now, I'm gonna put another water store there. Um, at the moment, I'm not chasing well-being through maximizing all the food out. Um, we've got 11. So if we have a look at our beavers, um, I actually got a couple of homeless, so we could do with building a bit more housing, which we will sort in a moment. But, you know, we are 20% life expectancy, so if I... Let me click on one and we'll get a bit of information, I think. 
but he's only at 10 well-being. So let's find a 12 well-being. So we'd have to go up to well-being 15, 22 or 17. So now there was a way that we could do that fairly easily. Um, and I think the first thing we're going to do is um, bump up the path around here and build some more housing. Uh, let's do that. Because homeless beavers are unhappy beavers. Oh, we can't make dynamite because we don't have bad water. So it's going to be six days before we can address that. That's OK. Um, and what I want to do is monuments. These dogs are driving me crazy today. Um, that's OK. That's OK. That's OK. Well, it's not OK, but it is what it is. That's OK. That's OK. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm getting very distracted. They're fine. They just like the bark and they can't come upstairs with me where I'm recording. So uh, we can do that, that and that, I believe. And then we can do monument, labor a monument, because that covers seven tiles, which is going to be all of the housing. And that will give us a nice big bump and it's only logs. So I'm going to high prioritize that because it's only logs. We also need to high prioritize the structure for it. So that will give us a nice big boost. We've got enough housing now. Why it says we've got one homeless, I'm not sure, but you know, Let's give that high priority here because they just need to do that. So we shouldn't have any homeless beavers now. Because there's lots of housing. And if they get this built, we're going to get a nice big bump. And that might be enough to push us to... Um, I'm well be that's you. Uh, that might get us enough to push us up to the next level of some of the well-being. So think we need to get back on the planks and the gears because we've been um, building all these warehouses so that's okay um, they're growing in which is cool and we can put in one more piece of path um, yeah, that's not been placed yet because we don't have bad water because this is our only bad water source and it's a drought. I know what I'm doing. I remember. Um, that's kept going surprisingly well. We could probably nibble some bits out of this to make it a little bit bigger as well. And we've got dynamite again. Um, but have we, have we pumped our way to the bottom of these yet? Not quite. And I guess when we do, we'll have pumped all of the water out. But we've got four days left. We're using about 120 a day. So we have got enough water left to last. So I think we will pause those. Just keep that going as long as we can. Um, it's keeping some of our trees hydrated as we've just finished pumping that. So what we should do is... I don't think we can get to anywhere to put one in. I was going to say we should put a stream gauge in, but I don't think we can. So that's everything dry, but we've got loads of time, which is fine. So oh, this one's it is paused. Let's unpause it and they'll be able to do stuff. So I want to automate this one, but we need to get some explosives. So. I'm going to skip ahead to the wet season, I think. 
So we're about 0.9 of a day away. I've just unlocked the beaver statue because I thought that would be a good idea to put in as well. And I'm going to put one on that corner and one. I'm not sure where to put the other one. I might just build it above. I think we'll, we'll do that one. We The monument's in and it's given us a bit of a well-being boost, but not as much as I had hoped. So that's what I'm thinking. What we could do actually is um, be a little bit cheesy. Let's just check our bonuses. Um, so no one's getting shrub. They built the beaver statue already. They have. Um, yeah, no one's getting shrub, so we could sort that out. We're not getting roof or lantern. So what I'm thinking is pretty much everyone has to come down this path at some point, I think. So we're going to do that. We're going to go into decoration. We're going to unlock the single roof. 16 well-being. Ah, something's kicked in. Uh, and we're going to do the lantern. We're going to do that. And that will give us a nice row of stuff if we go into our beavers now. So 17 is over 15 is we're getting the work boost. Over 17 is we're getting the extra health boost as well. The reason our average is not great is old immortal Joe here at minus 24. Um, so yeah, but oh, we've got some at 21. Wow. So yeah, I think that was worth doing. Um, because our beavers are going to live a bit longer and that will help grow our population. We have 27 free beds, which is nice. Um, let's close that. So drought is over and water is flowing. Let's unpause our last pump. Um, that's unpaused. So this will refill. It will flood into here. The beavers can have showers, which will get them their wet fur bonus, which will give us even more well-being. And everything's hydrated again. As I said, it average well-being 18. Very nice. So we've now got beavers. Yeah, we, we're doing well there. I am happy with that. So we did get quite low on water. We got very low on bad water. I moved the bad water pump. Um, to an area where we've already exploded some, so we can keep working on making it deeper. I am seriously considering, hey, we need to remember to unpause all of our industry that was sat doing nothing. So the battery should recharge and the engine should stop. Now these are running, let's close that. Oh, our bad water pen is built. Cool, so building's going to get a lot quicker. Um, yeah, I think we should build. Um, I'm going to delete these explosives that I've laid in. And we're going to build another two bad water pumps. Because we really do need a lot more bad water and then we are going to build up here storage not water i know two bad bigger bad water storage tanks so and uh if we could get all of this built please that would be rather nice. We are somewhat short of beaver now. Uh, we are 12 short, so that's okay, because most of them are from science, which is fine. Um, I think inventors are going to be one of those things that we do during drought condition. So make that medium, so it's higher, higher priority than the scientists, as the builders are. And uh, that will allow us to make progress. That needs to be high priority when we get dynamite. Um, and hopefully by doing this, we will be able to store bad water to run a bit longer. 
the next project that I want to tackle for the builders is assuming we will get a bad tide at some point then we need some bad another drought it's a drought isn't it it's a drought yeah oh well um we still need the ability to pump bad water out of here so i think we're going to be then triples so i mean that's good because we're going to be looking i don't want to build one there we want to be in the maximum depth available. So, and then we're going to do bad water pumps. There and there. And then we are going to put in a stream gauge right down the bottom. We're going to make that slightly lower priority and that higher priority so they build that first and now what we can do is we can link them so that when it runs when there's no bad water in here these don't pump that seems sensible to me uh oh, our dynamite is in so let's do that uh, we've now got a big store for cassavas so and our food situation is pretty good. Um, we've got a lot of kohlrabis. We've got a lot of corn. And that turns into, what was the ratio again? One to five. So that turns into 2,500 food. And I think it's four to ten. Yeah, so that's going to times by two and a bit. Uh, it's going to be like 500. Uh, a lot of food it's a saturday i'm not doing maths on a saturday um let me off i do maths all week and this game is mostly about fun so you know we've got three injured beavers now we have we've got three medical beds so that should be okay and the ones in the medical beds are literally sat above the monument so they should be like mega inspired if we wanted the next one that would be because i do like monuments for their boost 3000 science so we're a way off of that yet but i think this is cool it'd be interesting to check how many are getting um roof shrub and um yeah, so quite a lot of them are getting roof, shrub, and lantern. We could probably build another one. I don't know where. And if they're coming through here, if they're not coming through here, I'm not sure how. I guess they're coming down here to get to their housing. So the other place to do one of those would be... Oh, we are 0.7 days away from the drought. Let's pause. So we need to deal with that. Um, yeah, we're going to build another one here. good we could build another beaver statue here actually would that get that path it would wouldn't get the stairs are covered actually so yeah let's do that as well um and then we are going to go over to here and it's a drought so i mean in theory we could fill this with water but i don't want to have water in there when uh, we don't want to so Let's just start by pushing that up to one. One and a half. In fact, let's just go all of the way up. There we go. We'll store as much water as we can and that should be good. There is a little bit sneaking in there. I'm hoping that will evaporate. Um, but what we can do now is attach to stream gauge and pause when below 0.8 and unpause when above me. Two. You should be paused. I guess there is some water in there, so you won't be, but hey. Uh, and then we're going to attach to 
Why is there water flowing through here? Why is this opened again? I do not get it. I have to delete that. When drought starts, set to two. When drought ends, set to one. When bad tide starts, set to two. When bad tide ends, set there. So don't get that but that is really screwing us up that is worse than when i didn't have the mod installed hmm that sucks big time because that is all wasted water oh well uh what was I doing? Attach to stream gauge. Attach to you. Uh, pause when below point. Oh, oh. That'll do. Unpause when above point two. There we go. Once that evaporates, they'll stop working. Um, I'm so annoyed. I. We've got 16 day drought. We need to hold out for a while because otherwise these are going to dry out and die. So, Oh, that's so annoying. We at least got a half decent amount of bad water stocked up. We got 180. We should pause this because we don't need it all turning into extra. Um, we could probably unlock some better explosives now. So that's three deep. So we would like to go three more. Can we? We can't unlock that, but we can unlock the two. So let's do that. Uh, that will be good. That's in and sorted. We could put a normal water pump in here so that we can pump out the little bit of normal water we've got. And that would allow us to purify our bad water if the same thing happened. So let's do that. Yeah, that's really bummed me out is the word that I'm thinking that that happened um, hey. nothing we can do about it now except survive rather than thrive did this piece of dynamite get placed we're gonna need to go down 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 we can't actually go down far enough to get rid of that so the next best thing is going to be there we go detonate uh, and then we'll put another one in the bottom if we can yep cool so that's all placed awesome so that should be six deep now let's just pause a second and measure so now it's five deep currently because we only had double dynamite so we want to do um one more in all of those and there and we want to do doubles there and then what we'll do is we will rip out the pumps that we just built because we've got 15 days where we can't make use of them anyway uh, in fact, we could just rip them out now, couldn't we? And double dynamite. And double dynamite. Can we get to there? Yeah, they can get to that one. They just need to come and build it. And then we can rebuild a nice row of uh, neat bad water pumps. 
rather than the messiness. So we want to do, let's just measure again. So we are currently too deep here. All right. Yeah. That makes no sense to me. I guess maybe we didn't blow any of that up before. So double dynamite. So that's got to go one more. And then we need to put in... I think off of those, they'll be able to do those four. If we do that, they should be able to place all of that other dynamite, I think. And that's the depth. How deep is that one now? It must be four, so two more there. And we can start rebuilding our bad water pumps here to we should blast that and then we can do three and it'll be nice and neat. I think they can get to that one. So yeah, they can get to all of those, so. This is our little project for a little while. And uh, water's holding up at 750. We could probably do with having two running, but I want to get to at least 10 days before this dries out. So and it's not looking brilliant at the moment. Because uh, that way the mangroves will survive the drought. So. We can get to that one there. So we're kind of just making explosives hand to mouth at the moment to uh, get this done. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. This is, you know, an intermediate bad water resiliency. Um, obviously, this is our real bad water solution so let's pause that now so what we want to do on this is pause um this one we do want to attach to a stream gauge and we want to unpause if the contamination is let's say above five pause if the contamination is below one the contamination is currently zero so if i do that i guess because i forced it it didn't work so more dynamite going in there we go so that's done so we've got to do this corner piece and these so let's get them to prioritize that because then we'll be able to build the third one and we'll have three bad water pumps and some bad water storage. And I guess we could then think about expanding this way with the deepening. And to do that, we would need to go staircase, staircase. Probably on a lumberjack flag. And then cut those. Then we're going to have to do that three times. I think once I've got this sorted, I'm going to call it a day because I can hear the dogs getting restless again. And uh, they really do, you know. It's not fair leaving them completely on their own for too long. So I think that needs one more. Uh, before you all panic about the dogs being downstairs on their own, we so some some of you are kind of new to the channel, I guess. Mrs. Disturb does not work now due to health reasons, but she used to, and so 
quite often the dogs would go for a reasonable chunk of the day without people sat with them all of the time. There are four of them. They've got the radio on, they can keep each other company. The slight complication we have now is that Joker, our oldest greyhound, he's 12, I think. I'm really bad at remembering their ages, um, has dementia. So he doesn't do so well on his own. So, but he's okay at the moment, I can hear. Um, he sleeps quite a lot, he's old. So, um, yeah. Don't panic, they are fine. And we are almost done with this little project anyway, so. You know, and I think the next steps will be to start blasting here. And in fact, we could blast all the way along there as well. And if we put a path in, which we can get a reasonable way on, we might even be able to put it there. And there and there. But that is our new bad water store, so we could even put more pumps in. Um, I kind of like that idea. I'm going to set that up. Uh, pause. We need to build a stream gauge in the bottom so we can automate it. But when it's empty, they stop pumping. Let's put that there because I don't think it will be in the way. And then we will go there and there. So that will give us so that will give us five bad water pumps in here. And then we've got two over at this one. And probably I will increase the bad water pumping capacity over here. And we might work on dynamiting this out as well when it's empty. We haven't even had a chance to fill it up yet. So um. That was quick. That was quick. If we do that and that, that will level that out. So what have we run out of? We run out of bad water. Yep, so we've run out of explosives. So that's as far as we're gonna get with that. So I am going to call it a wrap for today. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for all of the comments and stuff as I play along. Much appreciated. Um, actually, someone did say about the missing blocks in the dam. Um, we don't need this bit of path at the moment. So I am going to, for completeness, there we go. They will get built at some point. I think that was the two missing blocks that you were referring to. And yes, it will look nicer once they're built. Um, so what did we achieve today? Immortal Joe reached the grand old age of 165. We built our bad water pen and pumping from there. We have sorted out our showers and massive well-being boosts, which is good. And we have made a much deeper bad water reservoir and storage capacity. And if we can max the bad water storage out, I'll build more. I think probably we want to be going to the large tanks. Um, we're going to have to rebalance our farmland a bit because probably what I'll do is... What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we could get two big tanks in there, which would be 2,400 instead of 900. 
that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, and I think we probably need more water pumping capacity as well. And that will probably come from more beavers. So we've got a bunch of free beds at the moment. Not going to do it yet. I think once we've either fill this up with bad water or unlocked the bad water discharge which is 4,000 science I mean other than that we could probably have a run at building it but we just need lots of science and we don't have the beverage to achieve all of that science um, and we have got two unemployed beavers so before I finish, we will put in another block of scientists and we'll do the same thing. So we'll make them lowest priority. So bugs me that science or inventing is my lowest priority when my job is science. But that's the reality of the game at the point we're at. We're on cycle 13 already. Um, and yeah, the simple triggers mod is really screwing me on the floodgates. I wonder if I'm just going to have a look at something before I end. No, it did remove that, so that's okay. So, yeah, I don't get why. It was that one, wasn't it? That had it. Uh, if we go back now, attach, attach. No, that's all cleared out. So I don't get why the timers... We don't want to set height on a schedule. I don't get why this did what it did. If you've got any ideas, let me know. We'll have another play with it next time. Um, once we've got dynamite established properly, I want to deepen this. Um, and I'm kind of thinking oh we've got mangroves let's unpause you and we don't have any mangrove storage at the moment i, I know i'm supposed to be finishing i know i do this okay um i'm gonna do that and we're gonna put a medium warehouse on there or mangrove fruit and that's going to be set to supply and then over here we are going to set one of the corn ration ones to mangrove fruit set to obtain and these should all be set to obtain what have we got over here corn ration I've got lots of corn ration storage that's okay so that should hopefully sort itself out um yeah progress was made i think um uh the other thing that we did is set aside our trees for pine resin which means we can get in to the uh the wood workshop we will need the tappers shack next i don't need to unlock that yet. Um, and I would like to get a number cruncher going at some point. I don't know if we want to do bots yet, but I really, really want to get to the bad water discharge. And uh, when we're in a wet season, I think we're generating enough power to run number cruncher. We could even bung it over here because it doesn't need anything once it's running. One and a half thousand science to unlock. But I, I think once we've got it unlocked, we can build it over here. We could build a we could build a bunch of them because we could build a lot more power wheels as well. Alright. And I kinda think that at some point um, I might look at moving our industry over here or on here. Up here, even. Now we've got power just here. 
we can tap out of the back of the gravity batteries. Um, we could actually drop this down and we'd have this plateau area to put industry in. It's only just going red, so I think that would be okay. Um, yeah, I'm very, very rambly now. So I am going to say thanks for watching. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, click the like button and I will see you next time.